Icons are Flutter's first-class citizen. Even right out of the box, you get access to all the official material icons from Google. Many times, though, just these official icons are not enough. For example, if you want to show an icon of a particular social media, you'll have to reach for other than the official material design icons. Here's the good thing, though. Adding icons could not be simpler. You just have to know the right tools which to use. Or actually, you don't even have to use any tools. Well, let's just jump right into the tutorial and see it for yourself. Hello, welcome to ReSoCoder, where you are getting prepared for real app development by building better, faster, more stable apps. So subscribe and hit the bell if you want to grow your coding skills. In the old days of Flutter development, you had to jump through hoops and write a lot of totally repetitive code and add all the custom icons manually. Now, because of Flutter's huge popularity, and it's rightfully so, there are also some tools and packages which you can utilize, which will make it a lot simpler to add custom icons in addition to those official material design ones coming from Google. One way or the other, you'll surely write a lot less boilerplate than ever before. And be sure to check out the written tutorial from the link in the description, where you can also find all the code written in this video, links to the libraries and overall go through this lesson at your own pace. Most of the big icon packs, like for example Font Awesome or Material Design icons, which are the extended version of the official ones, these widely used icon packs are already available on pub.dev as pre-made packages, so you actually do not even have to do anything yourself. You can just import and depend on that package as you would usually, and then just use the icons coming from that package. So for example, when we are talking about material design icons for Flutter, you can just open up your browser or use an extension for VS Code and just go to pub.dev and search for material design icons. And uh, this is the package which you can use to use material design icons in your Flutter app. And if you're not familiar with material design icons, this is it. Community led iconography and it's pretty awesome because it contains a lot of material icons and all of these orange ones come from the community. So you would not find them in the official uh, material icons coming from Google and definitely there is a lot to choose from. So if you want to use these kinds of icons, just depend on this package as usual. And once you do that, just go to pubspec.yaml, and the dependency here, just like you do with all the packages. And now, once we go over to, for example, main.dart, here's just some dummy code and we can display this new icon coming from this uh, material design icons flutter package inside the center widget in this container so just as usual you will have an icon here and now we can specify mdi icons import this package here and then for example we want to have badminton right and the size just to make it bigger will be 200 a badminton icon surely does not come from the official uh, material design icons. This is the community edit icon. And once we save this and run the emulator, it's gonna be shown in the app just like any other icon. But obviously this is just the simple way when you already have a pre-made package. Now, after this app runs finally in the emulator, we are going to take a look at the custom way of adding an icon to your app and it's actually not that hard at all because there are also some tools which you can use which will make adding your custom icons very simple to do as well so now let's just take a look at the app and surely we can see that we have a badminton icon displayed here so it's all working just right all right but as i said what about custom icon packs for example Let's say that you have a client or you are working at a company and you have your own designer and that designer just made some icons which you absolutely have to use. 
or maybe you do not work in a company but you just want to have some special icon which is not available from any of the pre-made packages which are over there at pub.dev. So what you want to do in that case is follow these very simple steps and you will have your own custom icons in your project in no time. For the sake of an example, let's just say that we want to use SOS icon or social icon icon font. So if we open it up in the browser and all of the links are available from the written tutorial to which you can get by clicking the link in the video description. So you go here to SOS icon and you can see that these kinds of icons are here. So all kinds of social icons and we just want to go to get started download the font and actually i'm just going to delete all of the files which i downloaded prior to recording this tutorial just so that we are on the same page but now let's just create a new uh, folder here so icons and create it and save it over there so what this will give us is a nice zip file which we can extract and once we extract it over here we're gonna be left with a file containing all kinds of things which we do not need but what we are interested in is the fonts folder and then basically every icon font which you are going to download is going to have an svg icon font so it's going to be of type SVG and this is the file which we are absolutely interested in. Of course you cannot use an SVG file just as it is or you cannot even use this source icon TTF file directly because you have to have some mappings because how it works on Flutter is that you have a regular font just like you have font for your ABCD for your regular alphabet you have the same kind of font for your icons. And then each of the characters in the font is represented as an icon. So for example, the character A will be represented by a Facebook icon and the character B can be YouTube icon and so on. And you have to have some mappings which will map your A character, so to say, to that Facebook icon and so on. So this is what we are trying to create right now, those mappings. Prior to this, you would have to create these mappings manually, but we can use a tool to create those mappings for us. And especially if you have an icon font, which contains like uh, 200 and something, 297 icons, it would be pretty tough to create those mappings manually. So for that, we can use fluttericon.com. And again, the link is available from the written tutorial. Once you go over here, you can now drag this uh, custom SVG font file over to this field. So let's just drag it over here, the SVG file, not the TTF file. And once it's there, it's going to take some time, but we are presented with all the custom icons, which we have just dragged in. And now we have to select which ones we want to convert to the format which Flutter can use. So since we want to select all of them, we can just drag and select all of them. It's going to take some time for it to process. But once it's processed, they're all going to be selected, as you can see, 297. Just give it some name, for example, SOS icon, right? And you have to make sure that this is a valid Dart class name, because the way this works is that those mappings will be generated so that, for example, the A character will be, in this case, this uh, 500px icon. I honestly don't know which exact characters this will be mapped to, but it doesn't really matter, it just mapped to regular characters. And this is the class which will contain those mappings. So let's now hit download. And we will have another zip file. This time it's called Flutter Icons. So let's open it up. And once we extract even this zip file, so let's extract it here, we can open it and we have 
two things which we are interested in. This icons, Dart file, and then the fonts file. Let's start off with the fonts file. The individual icons inside this font ttf file are now ordered in a way that it's possible to map them through this uh, Dart class, right? If we open this up briefly, just to take a look at it with VS Code, all right, we can see that, for example, 500px is mapped to something from the source icon font, right? And so are all of the other icons. They are mapped as some hexadecimal characters right over here. So what we want to do is to first get this fonts file over to VS Code project. Well, this is technically a font and you could put it into a font directory. I always like to create a directory called icons. So let's do that right now. New folder icons. And now just drag this over to those icons. So we will have an icons folder with this DTF file. And now since this is just a regular asset, we also want to add it to assets. So just as usual, scroll down in the pubspec.yaml file. And here you have even an example of how to add fonts. So we will want to unco uncomment this fonts. And we have family called SOC icon. And the asset we want to have here is just one and it doesn't have any style and it's coming from our folder here. So icons and its name is SOC icon dot TTF. And with that, once we save pubspec.yaml, all of it will be configured. And now we can use this font from within our app. And as we have already briefly seen, we can use this file, which was generated by the Flutter icons tool. So we can just drag this SOC icon icons.dart over to our lit folder. So we're going to add this Dart file and the directions of how to add the font asset are even right inside the comments inside this generated file. So that's definitely cool. But we have a problem here, and that is that we have a lot, and I mean a lot of errors in this file. Just take a look at that. If we open up problems, we have 603 total problems. So it's what is going on? Well, actually, we do not have 603 problems. The only problem here, or actually the only two problems, are these first two icons. It turns out that in Dart, you cannot start your field name with a digit. So what we can do to fix this, because this is not a valid name for a field, and to make it valid is to just prefix it with, for example, I. And the same goes for eight tracks, so prefix it with I. And now all of the errors are gone. So every time you have some invalid name, for example, even if your icon is named something like return, since return is a keyword in Dart, you cannot just name your icon a return. It's not going to work. So in this case, I would just name this icon something like return icon, just to make it easier for searching through IntelliSense to get suggestions when you search for return. But obviously, we cannot just add a suffix like icon for this first 500 px because we have to get rid of the first letter being a digit. So we have to prefix it in this case. There's nothing we can really do about this. But either way, once this is all fixed, you fix all your names, you can now use these icons just as usual. So let's go to main.dart and let's just uh, say here SOC icon. And actually, I should have probably called them SOC icons because it's uh, like it makes more sense 
it's not just a single icon, it's multiple icons, but it doesn't matter this naming of the class. But regardless of the name, we can now, for example, add here YouTube, save that, and let's check out the emulator. And as you can see, we have the SOC icon over here, and it's working just fine. We did not have to write basically any boilerplate if you do not count this pubspec.yaml import of a font. But outside of that, all we had to do is to just use the icon as usual. And this was all possible because of awesome tooling, which is now there for Flutter. Since Flutter is so popular, you have tools which you can use to spare you from writing a lot of boilerplate. If you do not want to miss more tutorials like this, definitely subscribe to this channel and also join the notification squad by hitting the bell button to make sure you grow your Flutter coding skills, because here on ResoCoder I am determined to provide you with the best app development tutorials and resources out there. If this video helped you with adding your own custom icons to your Flutter projects, give it a like and also share it with other developers who will surely benefit from it too. Follow me on Instagram, I go under the name ResoCoder everywhere. I'll leave a comment if you have anything to say and see you in the next video.